Hey, how's it going everybody? Uh, welcome back to the channel. So uh, if you're new to the channel or you don't remember me because it's, it's been a while since I've been from this camera, in fact, um, I'm a little bit nervous even doing this right now. I'm Big Ball Vlogs, this is my channel. I started this channel to do tech reviews. Um, the intent of the channel was to find uh, comparable products to save you some money uh, compared to big name brands. Um, so a little while ago, I kind of stepped away from the channel for a while and I know a lot of you guys are probably wondering what happened. Um, unless you've been following me on on Instagram, um, you probably thought I gave up on the channel, and that's kind of not the case. Um, sometime last year, uh, my mother went through breast cancer treatment, um, and a few months back, she suffered a stroke, um, and that kind of took the wind out of my sail when it came to vlogging. Um, the reality of it is, I realized that I spent a hell of a lot of time researching the next drone, looking for the next event, or following people around the country um, to figure out where the next tech was coming from. And I realized uh, that time that I spent researching drone and tech, I had no communication with my mom and it could have been the last time I ever spoke with her. So fast forward to today, she's recovering from the stroke and I thought I would get back on uh, the channel and kind of let you guys know what's going on. Um, I have kind of been looking back into tech to see what was going on and I wanted to get back into the channel and get it back started to do a reboot, so to say. Um, so let's talk about it. Let's recap uh, from the last time that I uh, posted a video. Um, I've been watching. I mean, I've been keeping up my phone. Um, has all these little cars that shows me all the new tech that's coming out. I've been watching a lot of you guys still doing a lot of great things when it comes to uh, drone reviews and uh, tech reviews. A lot of you guys are doing live shows. Um, but I really, I really haven't seen much come out um, since the last time I vlogged that would make me want to jump back on camera and uh, do a tech review about it or some tech news about it. Um, if you guys don't know my style, I really do not like uh, repeating or regurgitating things that other people have done. So when a new DJI or the new latest greatest tech comes out, you start watching all these channels, you start to hear the same same almost written script because guys are kind of like either being influenced by other people's reviews or they're just taking the easy way out and kind of copying what other people have done. I don't like to do that. I like to give you my own take or my own spin on things. Sometimes I might hear something from someone because I just can't avoid seeing a Casey Neistat video and that might influence what I uh, think about the product, but I will still give you my honest spin on it. Um, but for the beginning part of 2018, I really didn't see anything worth vlogging about. Um, so let's recap. What did we have? We had the GoPro uh, Hero 2018. I mean, a big flop for me when it comes to GoPros. I'm not even really a GoPro guy. Um, in fact, I have it in my pocket here. This is probably the last GoPro I will ever buy um, because I got a great deal on it. But when you look at the GoPro 2018, it is a stripped down GoPro, um, which costs $199. This is the GoPro Hero 5 Session, um, which I picked up from GoPro Refurbished. It was in mint condition. I paid $125, 4K camera, all the bells and whistles. So I'm not sure why GoPro would introduce a stripped down version of a new camera for $199, when you can also get cameras like the E4 k or the E-Lite for $79, $179. You can even pick up a GoPro Hero 5 Black if you search around, refurbished. So for me, again, the GoPro 28, or uh, Hero 2018 was a big flop. When it comes to drones, I mean, I've been watching. I mean, I've been watching you guys talk about it. I have not seen the Walkera Perry. I have not seen the Altel Evo. I have not seen the Mavic Pro 2. Um, what I have seen are a lot of videos of guys being frustrated about them not being released. Um, and again, DJI, again, with another flop, in my opinion, with the release of the Phantom 4 Pro version 2. I mean, how many times are we gonna take an old drone, slap some new propellers on it, and call it a new drone? Um, and, and in my opinion, the Phantom series is a little bit out of date when you have drones like the Mavic Air and the Mavic Pro, which are a lot smaller, with comparable cameras. I mean, if you've watched some of these guys do videos on the camera comparisons between even the Spark, the Air, and the Mavic Pro, I mean, you really get a lot of detail out of these cameras in a smaller package. Um, and then when I look into some of the other things I talk about, only one company came through and I actually had that product and I have been kind of waiting to do a review on it and that was Zyun with the Zyun Smooth 4. 
Um, I talked about this, it's probably one of the last videos I did and I said I couldn't wait for this thing to come out um, and do the review on it and get it up on the channel. And really the only reason I didn't really jump into this is because when I saw the release of it, one, it was shipping from China, I wanted to wait until it hit the US to see if people were you know, turned off by it because there were some bugs, because that's happened, Mavic Air. Um, and um, I heard that it wasn't really working well with the uh, Android devices and I have a Galaxy 9, um, Galaxy S9. So um, I've got it and I've kind of, you know, opened it up and played with it and, you know, kind of went through it to see what it could do before I just jumped on camera and started talking and rambling about something I didn't know about. And I'm very impressed. I almost like it even though it doesn't have all the features um, on the Galaxy S9. Um, it's a little bit buggy compared to the iPhone. When I do a comparison with my iPhone, there's some things missing like the filters. But I'm definitely going to do a review on this thing. I like this gimbal. Um, $139. It's a great deal. Um, back, I got on, I can't remember, I bought the uh, DJI Osmo Mobile 2, was it? I think it's the Osmo Mobile 2, it's been so long. Um, I sold that thing on on eBay for more than what I paid for because I was a little bit turned off by it. I mean, I am a DJI fanboy when it comes to drones because it's a, it's a package that you can't beat when it comes to price and function and capability. Um, instead of having to build one or you know you got the customer service backing, stuff like that. But I was turned off by the Osmo Mobile 2 because it just didn't have, I guess, the, the, uh, I guess the bang that I thought it would have. I mean, that's the only way I can explain it. I thought I would get this amazing product comparable to my Mavic Pro. Um, and what I found out was there were some things that I really didn't like about it, which when I compare that to the uh, Zhiyun uh, Smooth Q, um, I decided to keep the Zhiyun Smooth Q. Um, you know, 360 rotation. Uh, one of the motors on the um, Osmo Mobile 2 was so big that you could see it in the frame. Stuff like that kind of was a turn off for me. Um, and I, since I, you know, just got the thing, I just thought I would sell it and, and see if I can recover. And to my surprise, I sold it for more than what I paid for it on eBay. So it must be a very popular product. So again, I just want to get back to you guys and kind of tell you what I was doing, what's going on. Um, tell you that I'm coming back onto the channel. But again, I gotta, I gotta see something new from Tech World. Um, I'm not a big cell phone guy, so I'm not gonna go out and buy every cell phone and do a review on it. When it comes to cameras, yeah, I'm into it, but I haven't even really seen a lot of camera reviews. I've been looking to replace some of my uh, vlogging cameras. Now that I'm coming back, looking for compact cameras. I haven't seen anything new like from uh, from Sony. I haven't seen like uh, an RX100 Mark IX or whatever the newest, latest, greatest camera are, uh, would be. You know, I haven't seen much from Panasonic. Just hasn't been much out there for me to do a review on. Um, I know a lot of guys when it gets dry in the tech world start doing reviews on things that you know have come out in the past. I mean, I don't like talking about old tech when you know a couple months old. It's old tech and nobody. Really Really wants to know about it so um, the reviews may be coming a little bit less than they did when I was doing drone reviews because I've also decided that spending two or three I think in I mean I know I'm rambling here but I think when I was vlogging I spent two or three vacations on drones um, and that's not the way I want to go this time I'm only going to focus on the things that I think that I would actually want to buy I'm only going to focus on the things that I think that I would actually want to tell you about and I'm only going to focus on the things that I actually think you would want to hear about um, so that is the direction of the channel. I will be starting to do more tech news than drone reviews. I will be doing things that are involving technology when it comes to phones, drones, even this VR system I've been playing with. I think I may have mentioned in one of my previous videos that I bought an Oculus Rift. Um, I want to really tell you how that thing is working and how it's going. I love that. I love that VR device and I'm actually now starting to get the PC bug um, and I've been talking to people about you know Bitcoin mining and stuff like that so that's the direction of the channel hopefully you'll stick with me and hopefully you know I'll get back and give you some more information that'll help you build a better PC or find a better camera without spending a crap ton of money like I did and hopefully you know we'll grow together so hey thanks for watching thanks for supporting me thanks for sticking by if you've been waiting for me to come out with a new video for what I don't even know how long it's been what six months probably um, I will definitely get back to you and with with that said, um, again, um, I know uh, YouTube for some of us is a business, but for me it is just a hobby. I like to do it because it's fun. It gets me outside of my shell. But with that, I want to tell you guys that you should actually live life and make sure you keep in touch with the people that you love because tomorrow's never promised and you never know when will be the last time you speak to them. So I'll talk to you soon when I get a review on the Zyun Smooth 4. Um, stay tuned. Talk to you later. Bye.